You are listening to Herbal Marie, a podcast about herbs and home remedies to heal yourself. All advice shall be considered suggestions. Please research all herbs before using and discover ways to feel better and be well. Thank you for joining Herbal Marie on this herbal adventure. Together, we are exploring each card of the Herbal Tarot deck by Michael T. Era and Candace Canton. As stated in their wonderful book, The Spirit of Herbs, the Herbal Tarot is a useful introduction to the art of herbalism, as well as to the mysticism of the tarot. The symbolism of these beautiful cards offers us understanding on so many levels about the healing messages of our plant friends and how these plant beings can be teachers and healers of body, mind, and spirit. The tarot helps us to see the greater truths and guidance that dwells within our own heart space that we can call upon for greater balance, helping us take responsibility for our own lives and creations. Through its symbols, our own inner knowing and understanding are revealed. Today, we are going to focus on one card of the herbal tarot and its featured herb. We will talk about its spiritual and medicinal properties, the dose and preparation. We'll talk about the key words and meaning of the card along with its herbal allies. Then we will end the podcast with an affirmation. An affirmation is a vibrational prayer said over and over again each day so that a more positive and healing energy can be manifested for body, mind, and spirit. So are you ready to explore and expand? Great. Let's connect with the herbal tarot. Today we are talking about the tarot card, The Magician. The featured herb that we are going to get to know better is Astragalus. So we are on our journey. Last time we had the fool, we fell off the cliff. We decided to not give a rip what anybody thought about us. We're just going to follow our heart's desire and be guided by the light, (laughs) right? So now I'm looking at the card. This is our next step. This is us beginning the journey. This is the magician, us realizing that we can carve out and create the path that we want to have manifest in our life. So I am looking at the magician. Um, He is awesome. He's wearing a white robe. He's wearing like a white dress, actually, and then it has a red robe over it. (laughs) If I'm being honest, dude is wearing a dress (laughs) with the red robe over the white dress. Um, His left hand is raised. He's holding up this crystal white ball, this sphere um, in his left hand. And his right hand is um, pointed down. He's pointing at the ground. Like, look. Look at the ground, yo. Look at what I'm going to manifest. The background is totally illuminated yellow. And then in front of the magician is the astragalus plant. So that this is really cool to see the um, aerial parts of the astragalus plant because we always just use the root. Um, but this is showing what the actual plant looks like. And it's really cool looking. Then um, in front of the plant, in front of astragalus, there's some rocks. And we've got the four suits. We've got cup. Uh, there's a cup, then a pentacle, then a sword, And then uh, the wand is laying on the last rock pointed on the ground. So it's a really powerful looking card. I had to laugh because like I still don't actually know what the heck a pentacle is. (laughs) Like a sword, a stick wand, and a golden cup I get. 
I don't actually know what a pentacle is. So I'm going <laughs> to, what? I'm still carrying over the full into this, into this podcast. Still going to definitely access the full and admit, I don't know what the hell a pentacle is. Um, anyways, I will look that up. I will educate myself. Um, yeah, I'll get right on that. All right. So astragalus, do you have any reference to it in your own personal life? Um, I do. I took it, um, well, I was encouraged and introduced to take it when I got limes. Um, it's it's um, a great immune building herb. So uh, Stephen Buhner is really the expert on Lyme's disease. And um, on his protocol, that was one of the major things that you started taking right away. And now looking back, like I think like, geez, um, everybody should be taking this all the time, even before you get sick. So astragalus root is definitely good for immune health. Like in a nutshell, like you can say like astragalus is for building the immune system, whereas something like echinacea would be for just stimulating quick. This is something that you would like echinacea only take for a little bit. You know, you take time off of echinacea, whereas astragalus, you could totally just have it you know, in your life every day. So this magician card definitely prompted me to go to my vitamin shelf. And I'm definitely one of those people that's like, come on, use up what you have. You should use up that astragalus, especially because it um, expires at at the end of, oh wait, I'll I'll have tons of time. It doesn't expire till December, 2020. (laughs) But I am going to take this astragalus route. Um, Even on the bottle here, it says, you know, provides immediate support for immune challenges, supports immune health, and supports cardiovascular and liver health. So astragalus root is um, an amazing herb. Um, I also have it in powdered form because um, the kids who cannot swallow capsules and, you know, won't always eat the soup (laughs) that you put the astragalus root in, Sometimes you can convince them just to stir a spoonful into their water and chug it down. So astragalus root, that is what we're going to learn more about today, um, as well as the magician. So the magician, um, of course, I did my my back-end research for you, and this is what I found. The magician which is number one in the Major Arcana, is a very practical card. Um, It's all about accessing self-confidence and then putting those ideas into action. So if you pull this card in a reading, it's usually a yes card. Like, yes, use your strong willpower to move forward. Like, now is the time to create purposefully with intent. Hello, you are the creator of your own reality. So the magician has um, the upright meanings are it it is your new story. It's your new path. Um, It's a new beginning. It's starting to unfold. But yo, it's up to you. It's up to you. So this is a card about manifestation. This is a card about being resourceful, um, knowing your true power, your inner power, and then taking inspired action. So the magician is all about unlimited potential. You have everything you need. Hello, I will repeat this for your lack consciousness. You have everything you need. The important thing is know what and why you want to create. Like you really need to line up with your desires and then focus. Then be creative and skillful and talented. You are proficient and um, you can really get this done. So be confident and important communication is going on. So that's the upright meaning. That's the magician that we want to connect with. That's the magician that we want to become. We want to manifest that in our life. But in a tarot reading, the magician can come in reversed. And this could be like, um, you got to line up with your desires. You don't really know what you want. It could be like, hey, your, your planning is really poor. <laughs> You're not planning so good. Or you just have these untapped talents. Like it might be a nudge for you to get to know 
what's actually going on within you. Now, reverse can also mean um, kind of being honest here, but you're being manipulative. You're maybe not trying to manifest things for the right reason. Or it could just be that you are uncertain. Maybe you're just scared that you don't have everything you need. And so you're just looking for that confidence. You're maybe just frustrated that you're not seeing progress. So the magician reverse says you need to become more clear Um, or, or possibly get to know your true desires because maybe the goal that you're trying to manifest it could be out of alignment with your highest good so the worst of the worst for the magician reversed is it's it, it could be a message that you're full of greed and you're being kind of you know not very honest and kind of you know getting involved in trickery and like i said you're just a selfish hog <laughs> You're all wrapped up in service to yourself and you're manifesting for the wrong reasons. So that would be the worst of the worst um, meanings for the reversed magician. But hopefully you get it upright because we do want to be creating purposefully in our highest good, in the highest good of the all with intent. Then we focus, then we create the reality that we prefer. Wow, I was waiting for the day that I could use Selfish Hog in one of my podcasts. I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to be with the magician. (laughs) But hey, sometimes we do need called out um, when we start to slip into that selfish, um, you know, greedy ego thing. We need to check our ego, amigo. And um, I love that this card is willing to do that for us. So on page 23 of the Spirit of Herbs, let's get to know the magician um, in this um, guidebook here to the Herbal Tarot. So the magician represents the power of creative transmutation. So just so you know, it's ruled by Mercury. Astragalus is the herb on the card, Astragalus membranicus. And we're talking about the magician. (laughs) All right. Sorry, I'm still caught up in selfish hog laughter. Okay, I'm focused. I'm focused just like the magician is clearly focused on manifesting on this card. The magician represents the power of creative transmutation. He stands in a state of powerful inner attunement encircled by the golden light of heaven. I told you, it is really lit up. So up, uh, upheld in his receptive left hand is a crystal to attract and magnify the pure cosmic energies, while in his lowered giving right hand, he points a finger downward symbolizing his ability to direct through concentration the divine energies into unlimited manifestation. So the left hand is the receiving hand. So that's why he's got that crystal in it. He's trying to attract and magnify the pure cosmic energies. And then in the right hand, he's pointing down Are you speaking of selfish hogs? <laughs> okay, I guess my dogs wanted to manifest an appearance <laughs> into into the magician. So let's take the magician's advice and focus, hocus pocus, focus. So around the magician on this card are strewn the cup pentacle, sword, and wand, symbols of the four elements of creations and the four suits. The wand symbolizes the fire element, the enthusiasm and energy to make things happen. The cup represents the water element, which is feelings and the flow of ideas. The sword represents the air element, the mechanics of how the world works, 
And the pentacle represents the earth element and the end result above all of all the above. In other words, the actual physical objects, bodies, and things around us. So that's what the pentacle represents. And I, just as a side note, I'm wondering if it's kind of like a seashell. All right, moving on. These are the magician's tools, which he will master and use in order to make his visions into reality. So the magician ruled by Mercury, the planet of ideas and communication. Okay, that makes sense to me. So ruled by Mercury, the planet of ideas and communication, the magician awakens within us the ability to move inward for inspiration and then outward for manifestation. So first we go in for the inspiration and then and only then do we manifest outwardly. It represents the ongoing communion we have with the creative flow of life. Meditation on this card will unleash the secret of how to develop our power of concentration and the ability to manifest whatever is our true heart's desire. We must always be cognizant, however, that our true power is the divine will working through us, and we must do our work with a heart that is full of goodwill toward ourselves and others, lest we begin to perform the black arts and get caught in our own web. Yeah, so stay pure, stay um, with good intentions, stay with the highest good of the all, you know, service to others. That's the work that we should be doing. Not the selfish, <laughs> not the selfish hog, um, greedy stuff that gets people in trouble. And then they use their magic for evil. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so now it's time to um, get to know Astragalus a little bit better now that things have quieted down here, which just if you were wondering, my dogs were barking at the delivery guy who was trying to deliver a package to the castle. How dare you come close to the castle? <laughs> my evil dogs were just doing their job. All right, so Astragalus is the herb of creativity. So first we're going to talk about the spiritual properties, then the medicinal properties and the dose. Um, if you don't have astragalus, it does have herbal allies that can be used perhaps in place of it like schisandra or ashwagandha. So astragalus, um, the spiritual properties. Astragalus assists in increasing the energy needed to bring about the manifestations desired. It will help bridge any gap there might be between the thought and the creation of the reality. So that's cool. Like we have the thought in our head. Now, how do we bridge it out and actually manifest this mother trucker, right? <laughs> so astragalus can help increase that energy needed to bring about the manifestation. I love it. So it goes on to say our ability to digest and assimilate our life experiences will be increased and any tendency to be spacey, yeah, spacey and ungrounded will be rectified. This herb is a powerful herb of protection and can be used to create a stronger aura around oneself. So just like astragalus um, builds our immune system, um, it's, this is saying that spiritually it increases our spiritual protection, creates a stronger aura, and can help us get more grounded and get rid of that spaciness that might be just the thing that's blocking us from focusing and then manifesting our desires. So I love the spiritual properties of astragalus here with the magician especially when the medicinal properties of astragalus. Um, astragalus root is traditionally used by the Chinese as a tonic to foster and increase energy 
by strengthening physical digestion and assimilation. So astragalus gets us that energy. It, it specifically counteracts tendencies to spaciness and ungroundedness, so typical in hypoglycemic conditions. It is also the most powerful immune system enhancer known. Since obesity is a condition in which we have lost, to some extent, our ability to transmute and digest food, just as in the spiritual realm, we have lost our ability to transmute ideas, feelings, and experiences, astragalus can be taken regularly to help overcome this tendency. So that is pretty awesome. Like the spiritual properties and medicinal properties literally go hand in hand. Um, Spaciness, it's not just a mental thing. It can be caused by hypoglycemic conditions. Um, So where there is a physical explanation, there's also a spiritual explanation. And where there is a physical remedy, it's also going to help us energetically as well. So in the Spirit of Herbs by Michael T. Era, the dose and preparation is as follows. The herbal essence of astragalus can be taken each day as one is working to awaken the magician within. A piece of the root may be worn in a pouch to assist one in being a conscious creator in life. Create a magician's ritual of self-empowerment and make a tea of astragalus as a potion to further imbue the self with the strength to receive and manifest as inspirations. I was going to say aspirations. (laughs) Astragalus inspirations. Either or, I think. So cool, we can take an herbal essence, um, which is a, a, a really diluted tincture, or we can just carry a piece of root around with us as a reminder that we are a conscious creator. And I love the idea of making a tea, having a little ritual of self-empowerment, because we do want to imbue the self with the strength to receive and manifest our inspirations. Astragalus is used in teas and soups as described in Zero the Fool. However, the root is much too woody to be chewed directly. It can be made into a tea by simmering four slices of the root and three cups of water for 15 to 45 minutes, depending on the strength desired. Three or four Chinese jujube dates, if available, may may be added to the tea. One to three cups may be taken per day. Astragalus extract found at Chinese herb shops can be taken on a daily basis, or you can make your own alcohol extract and take a dropper full two or three times per day. So there's a lot of different ways that we can get astragalus in us. Um, I'm just being lazy right now. I'm taking capsules, but um, tea is awesome. And the extract could be um, certainly more powerful way to get that into us. So I love it. I love um, all these different ways to view astragalus for strengthening us. And I love that word imbue. Imbue us with this, with this strength to receive and manifest inspirations because you got to be strong enough to handle your manifestations. Am I right? (laughs) So that makes perfect sense now when I look back of how the magician has astragalus on this tarot card. Like it, it really makes sense now. Like maybe at first it didn't, but now it does. So remember the magician is number one in the major arcana and the major arcana represents the greater path of the spirit. And so the herbs that we're going to see on these initial cards are suggested to aid the soul to reach awakening and realization. So that makes sense to see how powerful astragalus really is for us and how necessary. It feels so necessary now to have it in my life. (laughs) So let's kind of recap here 
Um, the magician is astragalus, and astragalus is an herb of creativity. It is a digestive and a diuretic. The root is used to increase energy and aid assimilation and digestion. It is also the most powerful herbal immune tonic known. So that is so cool. And symbolically, it's used for poor assimilation of food and ideas. It's used for weakness, fatigue, sluggishness. And if you have a tendency to be cold, astragalus would be a great herbal ally for you. The divinatory meanings is creativity. It's unlimited possibilities and ability to do whatever you imagine or decide. And of course, it can come in reversed. And according to the herbal tarot, that would mean a person who is too busy and too outwardly directed or is selfish. <laughs> yeah, if it, comes in, if it comes in reversed, you could be a selfish hog. <laughs> My dogs would get the magician reversed, but they are really powerful manifestors for sure. So I hope that you've enjoyed getting to know the Magician and Astragalus better. Um, this is an awesome card to receive and to meditate on. Remember it said if we meditated on this card, it would unleash the secret of how we could develop our power of concentration and the ability to manifest whatever it is that our heart wants. So the key words with this card is concentration. And the magician also reminds us about commitment. The magician is all about magical powers and communication skills, whether that be writing or speaking. It is about the power to hold your position in time and space and thus create. Now, the magician can also be about manipulating others and their energies. So just be mindful of that. And it could also be a reminder that we need to be focused and we need to be grounded. And we need to see life as a magical manifestation. <laughs> so I am, I don't know about you, but I am like so relieved that we have like kind of like graduated and accepted the fool and now we're on to the magician like okay great we're gonna take this new journey we're gonna learn more about ourselves we're gonna discover inward things we didn't know that we like we're powerful manifestors we're gonna tap into all this and the magician is saying yeah it's time it's time to line up with it it's time to move forward it's time to focus it's time to manifest and it's time to create and, we're, and we need to be creating for the right reasons. So to end this podcast, we are going to um, say the affirmation together three times. And the affirmation for the magician is, through concentration and dedication, I am a willing channel of spirit manifest on earth. So let's take a deep, deep breath together. Through concentration and dedication, I am a willing channel of spirit manifest on earth. Through concentration and dedication, I am a willing channel of spirit manifest on earth. Through concentration and dedication, I am a willing channel of spirit manifest on earth earth and so it is
Thanks again for joining me on this herbal tarot adventure. And much love and many thanks to Michael Tierra and Candace Canton for creating these beautiful cards. You can definitely enhance your fun by owning your own copy of the herbal tarot and its book, The Spirit of Herbs. And you can purchase the deck, the whole set, the book and the deck directly from the East West School of Planetary Herbology by visiting them at planetherbs.com. That's planetherbs.com. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks for listening. Support this podcast by becoming a patron. You'll gain access to PDF downloads and Herb Nerd Notes. Visit HerbalMarie.com and become a patron today.